guys welcome back to the channel last night we had really bad uh, line of really intense thunderstorms come through with lots of wind and um, we my oldest boy his barn uh, got damaged to the roof uh, the winds tried to blow the roof off <laughs> anyway it's uh, mainly just one side where it turned all the metal up so uh, I'm headed over now getting loaded up and we're gonna try to get uh, the barn repaired this afternoon come on let's go get busy all right so just getting here and kind of assessing the situation I know in the pictures that Corey sent me all of this is loose it might be laying back down but it, it's loose and this ends bent and then you can see up here this end is still popped up so we'll get up on the roof get all this bent back in place and then work to re-secure it down so let's get up on the roof all right so what has happened is the strong winds got underneath this and it has just pulled this end 10 loose and pulled him out from the ridge cap so this should not be too hard of a thing to fix get all this laid back down and then we'll re-drill and then rerun secure lines in and hopefully we can get all this squared away so anyway not too bad All right, so as you can see, this is not too bad of a repair. The wood that's underneath the metal is still in good shape in most places. So when I screw in, I'm going into good meat in the wood and that's it's pulling down nice and tight. Uh, at some point in time, we hope to redo all the edges of this and kind of mix it a little old and new and modernize it, repaint, and you know really make this a pretty old barn. So on this other side, this is amazing. The wind was so strong. These are called ring decking nails and you see the rings in them. These are supposed to be almost impossible to pull out. That wind had to be unbelievable. Look how many it just, it just pulled it out so hard and so fast it just threw them up over here. This is amazing. Now the wood over on this edge is not quite as in good a shape, but when you go back a little bit, it is. So I will do out here as best I can now. now my whole issue is just doing an emergency repair. Hey guys so before I head on out of here I uh, got everything finished up I wanted to show you a couple of things so all of these roof trusses that hang out are obviously two by fours and most all of these are in good shape again this is an old barn but a few of them especially the ones on the corners you can see how let me see if I can get the camera up there a little better for you guys you can see where that is rotted and in this case it's not a big deal what I did is come over on the side with another 2x4 and I just put a scab in 
uh, to give it strength. And the reason I needed to do that was the screws that I needed to lock in from the top side, this wood is so soft on the end, I had no way of locking, uh, getting a screw to lock down onto something real tight. So this was the next best thing. Now eventually, as I said, we'll come in and put fascia boards. Uh, we'll do the cap ends and you'll cover up all the stuff. So even if we were, worst case, had to put scabs, which we won't, but if we had to put scabs on every one of these, you'll never see it once you get all the fascia boards up. So anyway, that is one thing I wanted to show you. And then the other thing I wanted to show you now, uh, earlier when I was up on the roof, I showed you the nails that the wind just pulled out. It's called ring decking nails. Well, what we use now is these screws and they all come color coordinated. Of course, I'm using some of the ones off the project from my house, so they're the brown color. But right now, we're not worried about pretty, we're worried about function and getting that thing locked back down. Uh, but anyway, it comes with, not only is it a screw and they come in different lengths, I obviously used the longer one, so I wanted to get into the wood good, but they also have a rubber washer on it right here. And so what it does is when it pulls down tight, that rubber washer pulls up and it seals uh, between the top. So even though you're putting a hole through the metal, the rubber washer will not let it leak. Now, a lot of people have um, mixed opinions of that. The biggest thing you gotta do is make sure you don't pull it down too tight and mess up this washer. So uh, it's a feel you get and you just pull it down. You want it snug, but you don't want it to where it's pulling into the metal. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to share those couple of tech tips with you before we finish up for today. So anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Again, that's just a quick emergency fix. Uh, we got more storms rolling in here shortly. Uh, they're supposed to be rolling in again after five. And um, if we have storms as bad as we did last night, we definitely wanted to get that lock back down. So number one, it don't rain in the barn. And number two, it don't continue pulling the, the tin off. So we should be in good shape to weather, to weather the storms. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope you find it beneficial. Again, please consider hitting the like button for me. I sure would appreciate it. So for now, remember here at Project Next One, there's always one more, and there'll be more videos coming soon. So guys, you take care. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you later. We'll catch you later.